The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has raised the alarm over fresh plot by agents of the federal government to allegedly re-arrest four of its members who were recently granted bail after three years of being in prison. The group said it has uncovered plot by the military to invade the southeast and some part of South South again adding the part of the plan would be to re-arrest its members who were recently granted bail by the Justice Pinto Nyako led court in Abuja. A press release by the media and publicity secretary of the group Mr. Emma Powerful, which was made available to Daily Post in Orca, alleged that the move was geared towards intimidating the people out of pressing for the release of the leader, Namdi Kanu, who they claimed was whisked away by security operatives on 14 September 2017, after invading his house. Part of the release read, plans are at advanced stages for another possible military invasion of the southeastern parts of South South. We envisage another extrajudicial murderous attack on the homes of Namdi Kanu's co-defendant that were only recently granted bail after spending three years in prison custody for a crime that does not yet exist. The quartet of Benjamin Madabugu, Bright Kaimezi, David N.W.A. Wuizi and Chidiba Onwadilwa had recently secured bail more than one year after the co-defendant Namdi Kanu was granted bail by the same court. IPOB however chided the federal government over the purported plot, stressing that it is needless to emphasize the justice Pinto Nyaka had, pursuant to application made in open court by IPOB lawyers, placed a ban on any form of threat or invasion of Namdi Kanu's co-defendants' homes. The judge ordered that no security personnel should disturb the peace. Powerful further stated that, we continue to demand that the military produce Namdi Kanu wherever he is being kept. The federal government of Nigeria is yet to formally respond to numerous queries from British government demanding an explanation on the whereabouts of the citizen. The Nigerian army's involvement in the invasion and massacre of defenseless and unarmed members of IPOB present in Afar, Lukwu on that fateful day of 14 September 2017 is the irreducible and constant critical point of reference in any discussions regarding the whereabouts of Mazi Namdi Kanu. It is a matter of common knowledge backed by a quantum and incontrovertible photographic and video evidence that the murderous military invasion of Mazi Namdi Kanu's home and his abduction therein by the invading soldiers was an occurrence which the international community and responsible human rights bodies, such as Amnesty International had severally indicted the Nigerian military.